Braid Show. I'm your host, Mr. Big Braids, coming to you live from a reservation somewhere. Taking a look at ALCX and a few other coins to uh, continue the night. Looking at ALCX, ALCX coming at 3230, holding that support. Been getting a little bit of creepy crawly action just above that 2629. I've been keeping my eyes on that 2629 because, you know, Mr. Big Braids is out here looking for some lower price lower price action. And, uh, you know, a lot of people at the top are calling, calling for some lower price action in the market. So I'm definitely out here keeping my eyes out. I'm holding back and uh, doing some DCA. But uh, you always remember this is not financial advice. These are my views and opinions on the market only. And you always got to do what's right for you. So I got my game plan set up since, you know, since November. We've been talking about this dip since November. And I've been holding back. I've been building up what I've... You know what I'm going to work with, and uh, and uh, you know just just doing some DCA across the board, you know, because a lot of people are, you know, everybody's like, oh yeah, we're at the bottom. You hear that every week, we're at the bottom, but you know. When I when I started seeing that set up in November, I started looking for some lower lower price action, and uh, you know we're de definitely heading in the right direction. Everybody thought I was crazy, but here we are at some lower price action. Loving that accumulation. I've been at, you know I've been out here hoping that I would get some lower price action. I mean, ALCX ALCX was coming at you know way up there in the four five hundred dollar range, and I, you know here it is at thirty two eighteen. I never thought I'd get that price action. You know, I thought I'd be lucky with getting maybe some, you know, $109 action. And here we are at 3218. I can't believe it. It's been amazing. And <laughs> I'm definitely excited because definitely get some, you know, some good position across the market in the stock game, in the crypto game at this price action. And, you know, I know, you know, when the market starts making some movement to the upside, I'm definitely going to have some money moving around at that. So, you know, if we get this lower price action, that would be dreamy. <laughs> I'm just going to throw that one out there because... You know, I, I I would definitely not have to worry much if we start getting, I start getting some lower price action like that, some decent position over time. And uh, you know, I'm definitely excited to see where the crypto game's going. You know, I I, I have the stock game rolling on that. You know, I, I do some trading the crypto game out here. You know, it's something that's. Uh, <laughs> I love to do as well. So, uh, you know, we got ALCX coming at 32.18. As far as making some movement to the upside, we got to get back over that 7.86 at 49.34, grab some support and consolidation, make our way up to the 6.18 at 67.44 and start making some movement to the upside. So that would be the awesome, amazing bullish scenario with BTC being so undecided. Could possibly see some sideways action over time until the market starts making some movement to the upside. And, uh, you know, if we do come back down and this support at 26.29 for you know anybody that's out there we, we still got to retest that that bottom so you know when, whenever that's going to happen it's going to happen and uh once we test that support if we do lose that if we do lose that support i'm definitely out here looking for some lower price action so you know we're you know getting close to the bottom a coin searching around for their bottom so uh you know definitely loving this price accumulation across the board so keep an eye on that price action keep an eye on ptc we'll do a follow-up video tomorrow and see where we're at moving on up to lcx lcx coming out 619 amazing price action <laughs> ultimate sales across the board uh, you know i'm definitely excited to see lcx uh you know i, I mean Tried to make some movement over to that 786, got denied. If we do try to make it run at it again and we do get denied, definitely gonna have some consolidation down to some lower price action. I've had my eyes on that 0.0475. If we do lose that support, I'm lurking out here. <laughs> I'm lurking like a shark and I'm ready to get some uh, low price accumulation on LCX. So definitely excited to see where we're going as far as LCX. As far as getting some movement to the upside, we got to get back over that 786 at 0.0703, make our way up to the 618 at 0.0883 and start making some movement to the upside. So keep an eye on that price action with BTC being so undecided, could possibly just see some sideways action about that support at 0.0475. Five for you know until the market starts making its movement to the upside. So uh, keep an eye on that support at 0.0475, and uh, if we do make it through that resistance at the 786, could see some bullish moves to the upside. So keep an eye on that price action. We'll do a follow-up video tomorrow and see where we're at. Moving on up to XLM. XLM coming at 0.1318. Amazing price action. Got that creepy crawly action going on with XLM. You can really see that bearish butterfly scenario kind of setting up there with that downtrend at play. Uh, is it going to play out? <laughs> That just remains to be seen. Uh, you know, like I said, a lot of people calling for some lower price action. And, uh, you know, I'm so I'm definitely out here lurking for that lower price action. I uh, got to keep an eye on that support at 0.1315 at the 786. Already coming in at 0.1318. Got that little bit of a hump there. And then, as you can tell, you, you can see another one. So it's not putting in like a higher high. It's just basically putting in like a lower high. <laughs> so resting on some support there so when i started seeing that creepy crawly action you know i started looking for some lower price action but you know we have been fooled before in crypto so you know 
definitely could go <laughs> could go which any which way you know i mean with crypto if you get that fu money going you know could see some movement to the upside so with xlm as far as making the movement to the upside we have to get it back over that 618.1543 grab some support consolidation start making the movement to the upside so keep an eye on that price action keep an eye on btc we'll do a follow-up video tomorrow and see where we're at moving on up to nkn nkn in, coming in at 0.0931 got the creepy <laughs> creepy crawly action going on here you know just hanging above that support above that 786 above 0.0864 are we going to lose that price action that remains to be seen looks like it's way back down to test that support so if we do lose that support i'm definitely out here lurking for some lower price action and as far as making some movement to the upside we, gotta, we definitely gotta, we have to get back over that 618.0069 grab some support and consolidation start making some movement to the upside as far as btc being so undecided could possibly see some sideways action until the market starts making some movement to the upside so that support at 0.0864 and uh, <laughs> keep an eye on that resistance at 0.1069 and uh, you know keep an eye on BTC, keep an eye on that market, keep an eye on the news, and uh, we'll do a follow-up video tomorrow and see where we're at. So for everybody and all the coins we talked about tonight, good luck. And you always gotta remember this is not financial advice, these are reviews and opinions on the market only, and you always gotta do what's right for you. So you always have a good afternoon, good evening, good morning, good night. Mr. Big Braids is signing now.